Kevin Coleman, Piper extended his elbow. Looks like as he came down to brace himself, he put his arm down, and I think Piper extended that right elbow. The 49ers, with Coleman likely out for the remainder of the game, are down to Raheem Mostert and Matt Breida. Ovation for Coleman as he's carded off. It's going to be Mostert's day, I believe. You already know it, too. Come on, let's go, dog. Let's ride. Me you. Come, Come on, on let's, go. Now. let's go. We got to do it for Tevin. Let's go for Tevin, baby. For Tevin, huh? With starter Tevin Coleman out with an injury, running back Raheem Mostert was forced to shoulder the load. The guy few had ever heard of made the most of the opportunity. Garoppolo going to hand off to Mostert, a cut back run, 10, 5, Raheem Mostert has the hand trick in the first half. That speed is set. He averaging 12 yards a carry, coach. <laughs> he having a day. What kind of feedback were you getting from Raheem Mostert during the game outside of what your eyes were telling? Um, I mean, the lanes that we saw and then the way he was running, you just wanted to keep feeding him. You don't see holes that big in this league. Whenever you watch the 49ers, you see several of those each and every week. It is 27 to nothing. Raheem Mostert is just going wild. He's just earned everything. He's been on a number of teams. He's earned everything that he's gotten. Um, he earned today. This is the man right here. This is the man right here. Get the close up on the man. Get, get. Say hello to mom. Say hello to mom, damn it. <laughs> Hi. I did have a lot of doubters and naysayers, and uh, now I get to actually tell them, hey, look, look where I'm at now. You know, I never gave up on my dream. That dream began in 2015. Mostert was signed as an undrafted free agent to Philadelphia's practice squad then was cut six times before arriving in San Francisco a year later. It's crazy that I've been on seven different teams. I actually still have the cut dates, and I look at that before every game. Is 31 still there? Yes. We got 185 rushing. Let's, see, let's go get three bills, huh? Hey, we, don't even have to catch, we don't even have to catch We ain't got to do nothing. We got to run. Hey, I'm about to start manhandling their ass in this run. Hey. I'm about to start having fun with this. You check it a true wide, wide stretch run to Mostert. Gets the edge, lap cuts back inside. Raheem Master has four rushing touchdowns. The offensive line stays engaged on their blocks. He bounces the edge and then delivers punishment. Hey, take that gun bottle, what? Take that gun bottle. The scheme that we run, you know, the outside zone and inside zone, you have to have vision in order to read the holes and read the gaps. In a zone blocking scheme, the offensive line runs horizontally along the line of scrimmage, stretching the defense. That action creates running lanes for the back to choose, preferably with a single cut. The way he hits the hole, he gets so vertical so fast, and I think guys, they underestimate the speed. It's just so special, and especially with our offense, the way we do outside zone, inside zone, he can make one cut and get vertical. That's all we need. If you could pick the perfect people for what Kyle does, you'd pick the guys we got. Raheem, still playing special teams, and ran for 200 in an NFC championship. There's a ton of elite backs that have come through this league and played in big games, and I can't remember a back going for that much, um, and he's unheralded but he's perfect for the scheme. He's perfectly built and designed to do what Kyle needs him to do. Kyle Shanahan learned at a young age what a powerful run offense is capable of. They can just run it two more times? Yep. Gotcha. Alongside his father, former Redskins head coach Mike Shanahan, Kyle learned to implement his father's zone blocking scheme. Gets hit in the backfield, spits away from Womack. How did he do it? In 2012, under the Shanahans, Running back Alfred Morris had the third most productive season ever by a rookie rusher. This scheme has been working for years. The philosophy still, you know, transpires into what we, what we run today. With the help of Shanahan's scheme, Mostert was able to do what no other back has. Only player in NFL history with 200 plus rushing yards and four plus rushing TDs in a playoff game. Oh my God. If I, if I would've told you kid would have had zero targets and we still had 34, you would've said, get out of here. The 49ers 
ran the ball 42 times today and passed it eight times. Would have been nice, I swear. Ooh. We go to the Super Bowl. 4 and 12 to the Super Bowl. Yeah! Let's go get this thing, man. Feel super, baby! The five time Super Bowl champions are going back to Miami, where they have won two Super Bowls, and they're looking for number six. Let's start filling up that other hand. This is a big one right here. National Football Conference trophy. You deserve it. Oh, you give it to him. You give it to him. What a moment for the Shanahan family. To get a trophy handed you by anyone is really cool, but um, I didn't know what was going on, but it was pretty cool that it happened there at the end. It was pretty special. I know how happy our players were, how much they wanted this, and I was just so proud of how they played and how hard they fought. What was the last time you ran for 220 and four TDs? <laughs> um, last time was uh, about like, what, 30 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, so. We worked all year to get to this spot right here, man. Yep. We knew we had to earn this for the next one. But you guys know this isn't the one we set out to get, right? Yes, yeah. sir. All right, we didn't set out to get this one. A hell of accomplishment by everyone in here. But the starting to finishing our goals the right way, it starts tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah.